Hello and welcome to another tier list on the bonus points. It's been a little while since we've done one of these. Uh, joined by Joe, as always. Hello, hello. And my name's Ollie, I forgot to mention that. Um, so we've suddenly had an idea while playing The Last of Us. We're going to be ranking video game dads. Dads, daddies, whatever you want to call them. Don't want to call them daddies. No. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this has opened up a new door for us for new tier lists. For some reason, it clicked something in our mind, and we're like, "Now we have loads of ideas." So. Yeah, I feel like we were quite like like video game levels, like very yeah. like like you know you'd mentioned about like development studios, but now I feel like this has <laughs> given. There's a lot of opportunities of of ones like this. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, so basically at the moment, well, as of recording, we're going to do the Last of Us podcast tomorrow. So we haven't talked about the Last of Us yet. But that's where I got this idea from. So just very quickly, I'm going to put on Joel, because I don't want to have to talk about him. So to explain why, like, <laughs> when, when we're doing a game on a podcast, we like to not talk about the game beforehand. That's why. We're not just being super weird. Yeah, well, we are being quite weird, but yeah. <laughs> but that's the reason why we're being weird. <laughs> also, actually, quick question, Jay. You see these characters down here in the pool. You see some of them have yeah. got purple borders. Do you know why that yeah, is? Yeah, I did actually wonder, like, what was there a reason? These characters all have their own videos on our channel. So oh, if really? people want to see more information about Torbjorn, we've got the Overwatch tier list. We've got a Max Payne episode for the podcast. We've got a Mr. Driller episode. So I thought if you want to see more, you can click through. Um, also from The Last of Us then, very quickly, is Henry, who I'm going to put, which is a bit difficult, but I'm going to leave it to Joe because I'm going to put him there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, oh, well, I, no, I, no, I think he's... I won't say any more, but I think at least okay. J Joel level. Okay. Right, yeah. now let's move away from Last of Us. <laughs> <laughs> no, now we can actually talk about it. People that, we start off with that, people think that's all we're going to do. We're not going to yeah. have any conversation. Yeah. We're just going to slowly drag them around the screen and nod. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, you, oh you yeah, go, so, yeah. Is it my pick? Um, who should we go with? Let's go for... Um, so I'm, I'm going to pick for Hades um, from the game. What's the game called that he's from? Ah, hey. Hey. so um yeah i mean great game a great character a great dad a very daddy dad yeah like he really acts as a dad but he's probably isn't a good dad <laughs> like no, he's not a very no. supportive dad so i think a great character amazing writing and voice acting but a bad dad so i think i'm gonna fit in the middle with c Ooh, c is quite high for a bad dad isn't it yeah, but it's a great character. So, I mean, how are we how are we ranking these? Like, I mean, he's literally the most evil dad. There it is. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't, I mean, I, so yeah. So that's how are we going to rank these? Now that the last one's out of the way, we can. Talk I don't about think it. we need a set. I think we just go with gut. Okay. He's <laughs> like, a dad. dad. Like if we're just rating them by how good of a dad they are, it's too easy. I think we need a little bit of um, spice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and he, yeah. I mean, he would be bottom of the list. Although I have never finished Hades. Maybe he turns around. And uh, tells, tells his son he loves him by the end of it. I don't know. <laughs> I got one of the endings, but I only completed it once, which apparently isn't enough. <laughs> well, controversial, but yeah. Okay. I'm not, I don't mean to tear open any old healed wounds. <laughs> right. Okay. I'm going to go next. And oh, so there's a couple on here that are like, I think you know about Booker. I don't know anything about Booker. But then okay. I've also got Barry from Resident Evil, who I think I know more about than you. So... Yeah, is that... Which Resident Evil is he from? He's from 1, Revelations 2, and he's a guest in 5. Okay. Well, do you want, do you want to just do Barry? Because I, I can't remember. I mean, if, was he in 2 Remake? No. Okay, so yeah, so I probably have never seen him. <laughs> he, he played 1, right? Resident Evil 1? No. Oh, okay. So in 1, he's like the guy that you're paired with if you're playing as Jill. Okay. And he's like cracking dag jokes. Like there's a bit where you almost get crushed by a ceiling and he says you were almost a Jill sandwich. Oh, uh, like, yeah, he's I've got, heard that voice. Yeah. Almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> yeah, he's got yeah. big dad energy. And then in oh. Revelations 2, he travels to an island to save his daughter. So pretty good dad. Not only does he save her, on the way he picks up another little girl and does the surrogate dad thing as well. So he literally oh. hits all the notes. He hits oh, yeah, maybe, note. maybe, Sounds like maybe an A tier then. I, I just, the only thing is, I, I guess, not very like infamous, I guess, but I guess that doesn't really matter, does no, it? No, 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 that's fine. He's a good dad. He's funny. Dad jokes. Okay. 
Yeah, it does sound very much like a like a dad. <laughs> yeah. Um, Which well, should I do Booker then? Because you yeah. said you didn't know. So as a Booker, like, so he doesn't do. So he's he's kind of a surrogate dad a little bit to mm. Elizabeth, mm-hmm. just because Elizabeth, even though like she's not a child, she's being trapped on her own in a tower for ages. So she's very childlike. But then also the reason he um, it goes to Columbia is because he's trying to save his daughter. Um, that's that's his whole motivation. For, right. for even going there, like his baby daughter. Okay. Um, and then there's spoilers that I could go into that's not worth it for, right. for this list. <laughs> um, so like super like like dedicated and the same thing, kind of is a dad and then becomes surrogate dad. Yeah. I guess yeah. kind of same as Joel, I guess. Yeah. Um, but I just feel like it's not explored very deeply. So I'm not going to, I, I think C is fine for him. What are his dad jokes like? Uh, he's not a very funny character. He's quite, <laughs> he's quite, he's quite to the point. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, let's get the the full, what did we call it before? Oh, the bread. The bread of the oh, tier yeah. list. The top and the We're bottom. We're going to do an E. I'm going to get an E right now. Even though I love him. Max Payne. My word. What a rubbish dad he is. <laughs> Family killed. <laughs> Instantly. Before you even start playing the game. That's the first game, game isn't it? Right? The That's first kind of... five seconds. His family are killed. <laughs> He's not very good at dad jokes because he's like super depressed. So that's like, he's not a lot of fun to hang around. And then he becomes this surrogate father again in Max Payne 3. And then everyone dies again. So he's just continuously at the bottom. And the whole thing is that he like thinks that he's like fat and ugly. So he doesn't even have the like dad bod hunkiness. So he's just yeah. bottom of the barrel. The whole Dad. game is about protecting people and just each level is like, which one of them will die in this exactly. level? This is the exactly. whole game. He's not a very good... I mean, I like him as a character, but in terms of a dad, no, no, no. Very low. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm, I might join one. This is this is, this is is probably my most controversial one I'm probably going to do. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have someone, a friend for Max, another dad buddy. Um, I'm going to put Kratos <gasps> down an E. That is controversial because he learns. I mean, he's to an awful dad, son. isn't he? What? I don't know. He looks after his son, and then he learns to love him. Isn't there a whole thing where he like won't put his hand on him, and then he's like, "Yeah, he goes to reach his." No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, so I don't just, quite love him. <laughs> and the reason why it's so bad, and you can understand a bit for him as well, is because like his wife's just died at the start of you know the the remake of mm. not remake whatever reimagining reboot of God of War. And so it's like, yeah, I know, like, obviously it's tough for you, but think what it's like for your son and yeah. like the fact that he's so awful and unsupportive and like rubbish, like at like the time where the son needs it more than ever. Um, yeah, I, I think he's an awful dad, rubbish. Well, also, isn't his like white skin the ashes of his previous family? Oh, is that like, what I can't remember? Fused to his skin. And the reason <laughs> that happened is because he was like, oh, I don't want to die. I want to live on and they were like yeah that's fine but you got to kill your own family i thought it was just <laughs> and, makeup and he did it <laughs> yeah he sits there he's like <laughs> it's like a four hour makeup yeah, routine yeah. every morning before he sets out now he's gonna do the beard grooming yeah. he's like getting yeah. the little kid to like do his back because he can't reach it <laughs> <laughs> yeah so not really a comment on the quality of the game Although I think I did enjoy it less than other people, the, the reboot God of War. But um, yeah, I mean, it's just rubbish. And, and I know that they're trying to build up for the whole redemption and he does get a bit better by the end. But it's like, well, yeah, I, I knew he was. Like mm. I knew, I saw the first trailer and I knew what the story of like the progression of the relationship is going to be. It's just boring. Like yeah, there's yeah. no twists or anything. It's just like, I, yeah, he starts off bad and he gets a bit better, but still not great. <laughs> I liked um I really liked God of War, the new one. I thought it was great. No, I, I didn't dislike it. Like, I enjoyed it. I played it all, but you know, people saying game of the year and like how incredible, like, I, I wouldn't put it to that level. Mm. I, I hated all of the, we're getting off topic here, but all of the upgrade stuff and all of the leveling and all the gear, it was just like, Too if much. I wish they just stripped all of that out because like I hated that stuff so much, it detracted from the whole game. Yeah, I think I stopped like paying attention. Yeah, I think I yeah. stopped paying attention to it when you got another chest piece that looked identical, but it was like plus one. Yeah, and I was like, I don't need to look at this anymore. Yeah, I hate that stuff. Like the only bit I remember is when you get the the chains of chaos or whatever they're yeah, called. Yeah, like, yeah. Because that's yeah. a moment. That's a moment. Yeah, like, it's a big like moment. If, it, if all of the loot stuff was like that, I would care. But when it's just those blacksmith guys and stuff, as much yeah. as the conversations with them were cool, I just any time I had to bring up a menu, I'm like, I don't want to be on a menu. I want to be throwing <laughs> my axe around. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, I'm trying to think of a D, but not that easy. 
okay, so what I'm gonna move on from D because I can't think of anything. And I'm gonna go Ethan, Resident Evil 8. For me, personally, is an A. I'm noticing a theme for yeah. the A <laughs> tier. <laughs> they just make good dads. <laughs> so no e- surprise. <laughs> Ethan Well, he goes through two games. Only the second one he's a dad though. In RE8 he's a dad. RE7 he's not. But he does go through everything he goes through in Resident Evil 8 to save his daughter, including, spoilers, if you don't want to be spoiled, skip forward like 30 seconds, including rebuilding her, (laughs) which is mental. You feel for most dads when they say like, oh, you're trying to save your daughter. Here's a bit of her in a jar would be the point you'd be like, oh, it's too late. Like, I don't don't need to go for all of this. Like, I'll I'll bury this bit. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. He rebuilds her. And I love the fact that he's like just an idiot. Like he's some of the worst lines and like, but I don't know if they know that he's an idiot when they're writing I don't him. think like, they do. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're not self-aware enough. Like, because if you think of like their other games and stuff, like it would be such an outlier for them to suddenly be really self-aware with yeah, this one. That's true. Like, <laughs> that's true. But there's this bit where like right near the beginning, you go into this hut that's like completely trashed where obviously there's been some sort of attack and he's like, oh, they must've popped out. Like, no, obviously not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's like it's just the evolution of like you know in like re well the, all the first ones when you look at something and the text would come up on screen say like oh it's a picture of a thing you know whatever yeah, it is yeah, yeah. but now it's him saying it and it's yeah, like as yeah. weird as that text was that came up it's just weirder when it's the character saying it yeah he also if i remember correctly sacrifices himself to save his family at the end so top yeah. dad level that is doesn't get much better than that maybe the other yeah, things could be a bit lower it. but yeah he's you know. He's just such a mad character, and also yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know if it's even worth spoiling what like physically he is by mm. the end of the game. But it's it's so ridiculous yeah. and hundred percent dedication for, yeah, yeah. for 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 being a dad. Yeah. Um. Uh. Let me pick. Uh. Let me pick Torbjorn. Don't know where I'm going to put them yet, but it's a character I know pretty well. It's hard because I love the character. Mm. Um. As you know, when we play Overwatch, I love spamming his voice lines. Yeah. <laughs> but. I, I, I haven't seen many of like much about him being a dad, really. Well, he's Brigitte's dad. Yeah, but I don't th- I don't think they ever have done like a full like cinematic. Or, no, they haven't. No. Or, so I really don't. He's a bit of an, an enigma. Like I like the character, but as a dad, you don't really see it in the game. So I think maybe he's our our D. He could be the D. Yeah, he's really on the outskirts of the dad level because like you yeah. know he is, but you don't really see it. <laughs> yeah, like I, I've been told that like he's Brigitte's dad, but like they, I didn't, I wouldn't know from the from the game. You know, yeah. if anything, I see more of Brigitte and Reinhardt as like Reinhardt as the surrogate dad because mm. she's like the person who like mends his armor and and stuff. Yeah. And I feel like there's more of a connection between them with their shields and stuff. Yeah, that's true. Actually, there's a lot of surrogate dads going on with this, isn't there? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Well, his beachwear costume is quite dad like <laughs> yeah i guess that's got to give him that gets him up to d maybe that could be that could be what gets him up to d <laughs> I, I think he's too he's too cool i like, imagine being like going like going up to him to like say oh can i go to a party on the weekend and it's like torbjorn sitting there or, like on his <laughs> ipad on the sofa like yeah. with his beard and his armor and so i mean like, He's or is that, like, taking, like... <laughs> taking his turrets out for a walk like my baby like, <laughs> yeah. or what if you went to meet your girlfriend's dad and it was him <laughs> you opened the door yeah. <laughs> he looked down yeah the door. and he'd be like don't let your beard caught in the letterbox <laughs> <laughs> which is the voice line i always spam it's a good one uh so yeah d i think you bang on there um okay so i'm gonna choose snake Purple border because we did a Mel Gisela tier list. I'm going to put him in C because he's like a bit of a confusing dad. Wait, so he, who's who's what is this? Solid Snake. That's Naked Snake, that, who is the okay. dad of Solid Snake. Yeah, but also so, he was super evil in MGS Five. Yeah, <laughs> and then he turns up in MGS Four and then dies instantly. Uh, he is a dad. Like just, he fits, he fits the category of our tier list. Yeah. But there's like nothing, almost a bit like Torbjorn. There's not really any yeah. parenting at all. <laughs> but I think Snake is much cooler than Torbjorn, though. Yeah, I mean a much more iconic character. Yeah, um, 
and but he's, he's got, just like a rip off of like from some film isn't he yeah, like, yeah. Like but he's got like a a dweebiness about him that's quite dad like that i like like his gun his whole gun thing he's like obsessed with guns yeah and like when he's like shaved off the edge of the gun just a tiny bit yeah, so yeah. Like, <laughs> and it's like any other character i mean it is gross and so but any other character would be more gross but like when the woman's getting changed and he's like one eye open like that is big yeah. dad move like you can imagine dad being like oh, like so cheeky about it <laughs> so yeah i think um, c yeah I, th- I think c or d i'm fine with c well say wasn't Ryden a dad to to the girl in four olga oh what the the one on the computer who lives her life on the computer all the time yeah she's like in the one in the plane she's always making eggs yes yeah, so it's been so long since i've, I've played that but she's like like she's lived her whole life like only online like <laughs> but yeah that's just like, like every- everyone in 2022 just like, <laughs> yeah just like, just like everyone the last three years <laughs> We didn't get like all become super hackers though. No, no. <laughs> um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this just because it's funny. We're gonna do Tony Hawk, which yeah. is just funny because like we just it's just we're just doing Tony Hawk, just the person yeah. really. Yeah. There's nothing. Um, I think it's a good that so because it's it's one of his sons is like a skater, and I remember seeing like old they were promoting one of the old Tony Hawk's games, and like he took him on like the whole tour with everyone and stuff. So like. I mean, he just seems like an awesome guy, doesn't he? Yeah, I think he'd be a great dad. He's a great dad. Also, yeah, his son is in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4, I think. Is it, is so it, was it Riley? Riley? Riley Hawk? Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I was um, like, okay, he qualifies. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. In, in terms of the video games. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I feel like we do, obviously we don't, we don't know enough to commit to an A, but I think probably a B from what we've seen. I don't know. I think we could commit to an A. He always seems yeah. like such a great guy every time I see anything about yeah, him. Yeah, but what's he or... hiding? What's he hiding behind that facade? <laughs> he just broke his leg. He won't never skate he's, again. You got to put him in A for Riley that. And he's like, just one more Ollie. He's like, my yeah. legs are tired. One more Ollie before bed. You won't get any supper. <laughs> to be fair, I think Riley's like 28 now. So I don't think yeah. it's going to be like that anymore. <laughs> I'm too old for this, Dad. Yeah. Sure, Dad. <laughs> yeah. You're too old for this. Yeah. You're like 60. Um, well, let's, let's put it between B and A. Okay. And then we'll see what ends up in BNA and see where which group it looks like he fits with. Maybe. I feel like as a real man, if Tony Hawk ever saw this, he'd be so gutted that he lost out to like virtual, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. virtual people. <laughs> That's a risk. I'm 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 willing to take the risk that Tony Hawk will watch <laughs> won't watch this. Watch this. <laughs> okay. All right. I am going to go next and pick. I'm going to pick Cranky. Cranky Kong, he's going to go and see for Cranky. So is what? this King Kong's dad? Donkey or is Kong. it like granddad? Donkey Kong's dad. Oh, King Kong. Yeah, Donkey Kong. <laughs> he is the original Donkey Kong from the original game. Oh, and then... be careful with that. I get another lawsuit will uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll open up. <laughs> yeah, so he's the, he's the original Donkey Kong. And then in Donkey Kong Country, he comes back as his dad. Oh, uh, so he he's Donkey Kong from the old Donkey one, the, Kong, the, the arcade actual game. old arcade game, yeah. Oh, I didn't realise it was a different character. Yeah, so he's the Like, dad. I knew Craig because I've played on, um, I think it was on the SNES Mini, I played it, where, where he's in it. Um, mm. What was, is it, what was the first? Donkey, Donkey Kong, Kong Country. Country, that was it, yeah. So I played that, but I didn't realise it was the original Donkey Kong. Yeah, well, he says stuff like, oh, back in my day, we used to roll barrels down at the... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> stuff yeah. like that. Um, I, I, Joe, I'm putting him in six, I feel like he's underutilised. Because he's a pretty good character, but he's not really had his... So he's in C because he's under... What, you're saying instead of being higher? Yeah, he could have potential. I can see the potential yeah. in him and they've just not used it. Even though I think you can play as him in one of the newer Donkey Kong Country games and he bounces on his stick. <laughs> I, I like the idea of them, like... Because obviously, like, kind of cartoon characters like this, like, they don't age. Yeah. And so I, I like... I always feel like... My, I, like I'd be, I love a Simpsons spin-off where, like, Lisa and Bart are, like, old and, like, oh, talking right, yeah, about, yeah, like... Yeah. God, God, remember when I used to skate? God, like, oh, such, like, a little brat as a kid, wasn't I? Yeah, like, yeah. You know, like, it's just quite funny. So, like, you said about him having those lines talking about, like, back at my day. Yeah, like, yeah. And also and, he's, and, like, quite handy to have around because he's the shop. So... Yeah. Yeah, no, I, th- I think that's fine. Okay. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do what I think is an obvious E... Sticking with Nintendo, I'm going to put Bowser at E. <laughs> Bowser's an E? Why is he yeah. an E? He's an icon. Because, like, he sends his kid... Yeah, I'm not... Like, I'm talking about Bow- Dad Bowser, okay? <laughs> okay? One, his, like, 
parenting is like very rarely addressed. Like he yeah. cares much more about stealing other people than caring for his own. <laughs> and then he sends his like kids to like protect him and like be yeah, like, oh no, no, no. can you just guard me from this guy who's just like <laughs> killed like loads of my minions before yeah. they get to me? Like that's not good parenting. No, you're right. But two things on that. One is that on the Switch parental controls tutorial video, Bowser is the dad in that oh, video. Really? And he's okay. like looking after Bowser Jr., like setting his screen time and stuff. And also, Bowser Jr. might be having a hard time because where's mum? Where's mum? We don't know. Well, he keeps trying to steal them, doesn't he? he keeps well, trying to get yeah, a new but where, one. you know, where's <laughs> Bowser Jr.'s mum? Also, another thing is that he does hierarchy like Bowser Jr. is obviously above the Koopalings, but they're all his children. Yeah. So like, why would you do that? Be like, oh yeah, well, this is my didn't, favorite didn't child. They come out saying that they're, they're. I think they're canon, not his children now. I think they, uh, okay. they say. I think I think they changed at some point. Um, but I mean, like, say if if I was a dad and I sent like my kid out to like do fights for money, yeah. <laughs> and they came to the authority <laughs> and they were like, oh yeah, but I'm like. I'm like a, a solo parent, you know? They were like, yeah, oh, yeah. fair enough. <laughs> oh, that's all right then. Okay. You're a single dad. That's fine. Like, and also, I mean, yeah, he's pretty rich. Like, he has a battleship. He's not, yeah. like, struggling for money. <laughs> I, I think, I think, I think, you know, you can see how, you know, the, the sea doesn't spread far from the tree, Ollie. Yeah. And, and I, you can see why, how his children are, are going to grow up and, you know, there's going to be a new generation that he's yeah. spawned. And I think the buck stops now. We need to put him down <laughs> an E and he needs to sort it out. <laughs> okay. I still think he's an icon, but yeah, he is pretty, he's a you know, pretty he's bad an icon. Dad. He's a pretty bad That's not dad. what this list is here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So next up, I am going to pick Dr. Light, who is the creator of Mega Man. So very much a surrogate dad. I think he might even go in D. Is D becoming the bearded granddad esque <laughs> dad tier? <Yeah. laughs> I got my eyes on you as gorgeous. Do you wait? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So somewhat of a weird relationship with his son that he also made another one of, but that's Mega Man's girlfriend, not his sister. I don't really know what's going on with Dr. Light. I mean, I'm thankful story, for him. Story wasn't the priority <laughs> when uh, <laughs> creating the Mega Man lore. Also, he doesn't really have dad jokes. He kind of just speaks in broken English. So <laughs> I guess I think the... It's the cutscenes are so funny when he's like, Welcome this way, Mega Man. It's like the <laughs> yeah, worst yeah, like yeah. voice acting ever. Yeah, yeah. I mean I like the fact like, that he was based on Santa when they designed oh, him. That's he? quite that's quite cute, but dad level is quite I mean, he's one above sending your children to war or having them all killed in front of you, which is <laughs> above yeah. me. So <laughs> I kind of feel seeing him next to Torbjorn, I kind of feel like Torbjorn maybe should go higher. I feel like they're not on the same level. Well, how about for now we'll put Torb oh, we'll put Torbjorn in between. Yeah, yeah, we'll see um Yeah, or, or maybe Dr. Light down. Yeah, I guess we'll we'll see how it ends up and then we'll have a, a last shuffle. Well, Dr. Light like isn't inherently place. evil like the other ones. Yeah, you I know? guess he's not bad. He's <laughs> yeah. just like yeah, just another one. Is is he even really a dad? Like he's more of like Frankenstein rather than like <laughs> a dad, like isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um let's go with uh I know we weren't we weren't gonna call them that, but let's go with Big Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously from uh, an enemy from Bioshock games. You also in Bioshock uh Bioshock 2, you play as a big daddy. I don't yep. know if you knew that. I did know um, that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, in terms of like parenting, they're very protective over the the little sisters. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you like they're. I mean, they're, they're kind of they are the baddies, but if you leave them alone, they don't attack you. They don't fight you. They only go after you if you go after their little sister, or as oh, they just okay. wander around going. Hmm. Yeah, or if you go after them, I guess. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess retaliate. if you attack them, they'll yeah, defend yeah. themselves. Um, but yeah, in terms of like protection level, like they're right there at the at the very very top. I mean, and who knows behind the scenes? You know, do they go home and then they cook dinner for the little <laughs> sisters? Uh, some Adam pie. <laughs> was there no mum character? There, yeah, there, there was kind of in um, in Bioshock Two again. Mm. I can't remember what she was called, but it was just one reoccurring character who was almost like a female big daddy, but she could like climb up the walls really fast. And I remember there's a cool scene where she like slices a hole through a big like glass window. Obviously, it's under the water. Oh, I've so seen that. Yeah, I've seen in. that scene. Yeah, she's like bouncing you, around, right? 
Yeah, I don't think, you know, they're, it's happy families and they're... I think, isn't she called character. Big Sister? Hmm? Isn't she called Big Sister, that character? Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah. Well, I, um, I do think Big Daddy can't be in, D, in E. No, I no, because they're. I, th- I think Big Daddy is a better dad to the little sister than, <laughs> than some of these others. Yeah, yeah. I think definitely. maybe another D, maybe. I'm thinking maybe even higher than that, just from the like quite cool. The dad level is pretty good. Yeah. As far as we know, there's nothing. There's nothing wrong with them. <laughs> with the fact they're inherently <laughs> yeah. evil. It's so funny this conversation. Like, if people aren't looking at like what the little picture thumbnail is of, we're like, yeah, pretty, I'll invite him to my barbecue. Yeah, what a great dad. Uh, should we say C then? I'd say C. Yeah, C's getting pretty busy, isn't it? Yeah, that's okay. We don't want to. They don't need to be even spread out. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of average dads out there, apparently. <laughs> yeah, very average dads. Okay. Right, I'm going to go King of Cosmos from the Katamari series, which he doesn't have a purple border because we don't have a Katamari video, but he they do feature a lot in uh, Do Your Worst. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a whole Do Your Worst about Katamari. Um, so he, first game, gets drunk, falls over, destroys the universe, which is why you have to rebuild it. Quite a big oopsie there. That's or... a big oopsie for a but typical dad. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, Dad's but, at Christmas. Uh, he's had too much to drink. <laughs> but then he 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 doesn't sort it out. He sends you out to you know create all the stars for him. Yeah, and he's own quite up. yeah own up. Yeah, he's not setting a very good example. He's also quite horrible to the to the you as the child. Yeah, like nothing you ever do is good enough. Even if you pass the level, he's like, oh, I could have done that better than you. And then if you fail, he will shoot you with lasers out of his eyes. <laughs> So he's what, But it's hard, but one of the highlights is his dialogue so entertaining. His dialogue and, is great. And, he's and just incredibly... the dialogue paired with the visual and just the sounds from when he talks, like the bar bar like yeah, when yeah, it comes yeah. on. And the record it's scratching. Such a highlight. Record scratching, yeah. yeah. He is also very handsome. He probably has the best dad bod out of everyone on this list. So I feel like okay. maybe he could be a D for those reasons we just mentioned, other than the fact that he tries to kill you if you don't do what he wants and you're never good enough for him. <laughs> yeah. I just I just like him too much as a character compared to the E tier, despite yeah. him probably being the, you know, he destroyed the universe. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably By accident. The worst. By accident. Yeah. It wasn't on yeah, purpose. I mean, sure, Kratos could have, you know, given more hugs, but I mean, he didn't destroy the universe. <laughs> just killed a few gods. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm happy with him in D. He looks good though. Okay. Uh, I might quickly I'll do, make um, some space while you do yours. I'll move these over. Sure. Yeah. I'm going to do. Let's do. I'll tell you, let's do Michael. Let's just put him in E. Because he's just a rubbish dad, isn't he? Yeah. He's more of a crime, more interested in crime, isn't he, than uh, being a dad? Yeah. Like he, he tries a bit with his son. Remember his like, son's like playing games and like when his son's in trouble, like when, when his kids are in trouble, he does try and help. And I remember like. Doesn't his daughter's like on some like reality show mm-hmm. and like and he like goes and like yanks her out of it, which probably yeah. wasn't the subtle way to handle the situation. So like he cares about them a bit, but as like does it all with the direct forceful solution to everything. Yeah. Um, and which doesn't really work. And well, yeah, he's also just doing like killing loads of people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and his son is awful and you know, he has not been brought up very well. Yeah, but you see why he is, you know, like he's spoiled and like yeah. But that's that's the dad's fault though, you know. Yeah, I know that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And also, isn't his wife's quite quite awful as well? Yeah, they all are. Toxic. Remember like the yoga class? (laughs) Yeah, that's what I was thinking of, yeah. Toxic family. Okay, yeah, he's definitely an E then. We're not getting many A's out of this, are we? No, it's really just Resident Evil. Maybe we should have done more (laughs) Resident Evil ones. Resident Evil characters. Uh, Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's put... It's a bit tricky because these are characters that I don't know... There's not that much to them that are left. So Taizo, Mr. Drella's dad. I feel like he's a bang on C. Quite an okay. enjoyable character, quite funny, a lot of dad jokes. He's done his time. Doesn't send Mr. Drella off on his own. He kind of like helps him out on his adventure. And he's Dig Dug. People like that game. There's no mum again, but... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you know, he's not so evil. We, he's a good guy. <laughs> the the no mum thing is weird because we we came up with the idea for this list and then we were like coming up with all the the ideas for the the selections and I was like oh we should probably do a mums after and then we're like 
There's so few video games mums. And I know we'll probably get some of the comments that we've said that. We did think yeah. of a few. But compared to dads, it's it's just mums are like such an underrated like character. Like I think I gave Ollie the example like, I bet if we went to do video game dogs, we'd have too many. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. the fact that we can't get a solid list of mums is crazy. Yeah. Well, I think especially with the surrogate angle, it's like the people that write video games are now dads. So they're writing about what they know. But their audience yeah. are not dads. So what do they do? Oh, they're surrogate dads. Okay, that way I can get my story in and the character, the player won't feel alienated. Perfect. Yeah. And then we had like a hundred games about dads who come out in a row. <laughs> yeah, that's so crazy. I think, yeah, because it's, 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 it's that. And then obviously just the, even forgetting the fact that it, most game developers, you know, it's gradually getting better, are men. But then also mm. just the characters are also just more men anyway. Like everything's biased towards dads rather than, yeah. rather than moms. <laughs> yeah. Although, you know, I like dads. That's why we're doing this list. That being yeah. said, yeah. Um, right, let's do... Uh, I'll do Eli Vance from Half-Life. One of my... Uh, was he in there? Oh, yeah, he was kind of in Half-Life 1, wasn't he? It's really Half-Life yeah, 2. Yeah. yeah, Where he's, you know, a character in it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, he's pretty great. Like, he goes through a lot. Yeah. Like obviously like he puts Alex in difficult situations but the way the world is like they kind of have to and then he gets captured. Um I think maybe B. I yeah, I would agree. Maybe I'd maybe yeah. even say A. Quite a lovable guy. Probably the nicest yeah, character the in the is, game. <laughs> it's it's yeah, he, he's lovely. I love his voice. Yeah. Um and he is so caring and like the little bit when he's like and like Alex leaves the room, he gives you a little nod and saying about like, you know, when this is like all over, we're gonna have to like repopulate a little bit. Like, yeah, yeah. like little yeah, nudge to Alex. Dad, well. like, little, those little personal moments are really good. And then like yeah. him like arguing with um oh, what's the uh what's the doctor called? The really annoying one. Um, oh, I can't remember. Dr. Breen? Oh, no, it's not him. It's this it's in the it's in episode two mainly. Right. The one when they're doing their anyway, it doesn't really matter, but yeah, they're like all bickering and stuff. Um, yeah, so I think a great character. I think the thing is, it's much more us protecting him and him getting captured and us saving him. Mm. I think if it was more the other way around, it would maybe put him into A. Yeah, true. But I think that, like, like, he seems to be a great, loving dad, but I feel like that doesn't get you to, like, the level of what, like, Ethan <laughs> has yeah, done. Yeah, true, true. <laughs> I think and there is a difference there. Doesn't Eli eventually die at the end of episode two? He does, yeah. But when I was looking up this little picture for him, there is a Half-Life Alex model. So something's going on. So there, I, I've finished Half-Life Alex. Like, you, you, I'm assuming you don't want me to spoil it. No, <laughs> right? I'm going to play it. I mean, I've got a VR okay, headset, yeah. so I will play it. The, the, yeah, the, he, he is in Half-Life Alex in some okay. form. Okay. But Half-Life Alex, you know, is a prequel. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, silly me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I do remember that now. Yeah. <laughs> I have played a bit of Half-Life Alex, but only about 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, right. Ethan. Heavy rain. <laughs> Jason. <sighs> Your favourite game developer. Yeah. <laughs> Quantum Jason. Do you know what? His commitment to being a dad is quite big. That's he chops mainly. his own finger off. Yeah. Crawls through glass. Yeah. Um, lots of horrible stuff. Do you know what's so funny in that game? Because it's like they always they always try and do these metaphors and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And they're always so like over the top and blatant. Like it's, yeah, there's yeah, no yeah. subtlety. Yeah. When it's like his happy life with like Sean and Jason <laughs> and his wife, and there's a party and they're out in the garden playing, and it's like it looks like an like an advert for like some like <laughs> Intergestion medication or something <laughs> yeah. when like life's all good because they're on this medication <laughs> and then like after one of the kids dies and then the life afterwards yeah and how like it, like overly depressing it is like it's just the, the extreme <laughs> transition from how over the top everything's lovely and then to that it just it just makes me like i know that they're trying to go for something yeah. and it's meant to be an emotional but it's they, just so blatant and on the nose it just makes me laugh then just, you do like all the same stuff as well like you brush your teeth again and like you do all the stuff you did when it was happy, but you yeah, do it and I as think depressed. it's like you're like baked, you've got cake or something for the bird, and then the other one is like you've got to do dinner and it's like a ready meal and you've got to yeah, put it in yeah. the microwave. And it's, it's so depressing. And the kid Top. like comes all in, like, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Top video so game funny. ready meals. That'll be the next one we do. Um, 
So I would like to put him in C, actually, just because of his commitment to yeah. his son. Like, he's, like, like him as a dad, like, I mean, he's, the thing is, obviously, like, he's, he's trying his hardest, I guess. Yeah. And he's got a lot of dedication. It's just him as a character. I just, he just is, I don't he know. I just, he, he does he's suck. So, yeah. yeah, he sucks. That, yeah. But I don't Actually, wanna, do you know what? He's, I'm going to put him in D. He does suck. He is really annoying. <laughs> Actually, when yeah. you think about him, like, he does suck. And the whole Jason thing, like, it's supposed to be, like, a really powerful moment and it just became, like, a stupid meme. <laughs> it's because they, they let you press it too much. Yeah. So, like, and everyone, because it's basically, if anyone doesn't know, you're basically looking for, like, your son and it's like, <laughs> and you press the button to call out Jason, but he can do it constantly. So he's like, yeah. Jason, Jason, Jason. They've got, like, four <laughs> different ways he shouts Jason and you just do it for, like, and this, this the sea goes on for so long. It's it very long. You're like following a, a balloon, aren't you? There's like yeah, a balloon yeah, above the, like crowd the crowd. So but then it's like stupid. a different balloon. You like grab someone else's yeah. kid and they're like, what are you doing? <laughs> He's like, I thought it was Jason. <laughs> oh, no, he can't go in E. He's too dedicated to his son. <laughs> no, he he cut his own finger off to try and save his son. And that, he drinks that poison, doesn't he, at one point? Oh, maybe. Yeah. It's been a while. I didn't, I didn't replay it. No, why would you? Uh, okay, so <laughs> <laughs> to see the different endings, Ollie. Yeah, um, it's your turn. <laughs> right, I'm gonna do. Let's do Octodad. Is a um, yeah. Oh, I don't know go. much about the Octodad lore, except so. To, yeah, you tell me what's going on with him. I can't, I can't remember how. I don't know if they even explain it, but you know, like the setup is like so. He's an octopus, mm. but like no one knows. Mm-hmm. Like everyone, like he's pretending to be a human. <laughs> Yeah. And the whole thing is that you're trying to not do anything that's weird to make anyone realize you're an octopus, not a human. Yeah. And so okay. like you'll go out to like the supermarket and you have to like do stuff. And then like if you start falling over, they're like, Oh, what are you doing? And he's like, Nope, I'm just just a normal human coming but through here. Is he that's actually so the dad? I I'm assuming not. I think he's like nestled in with this family somehow. Okay, they're so all he's humans. Surrogate. Yeah, they're all humans. I've got oh, a good she, Octodad d- joke as well, which, uh, I don't know, are you ready for it? Because he's okay. quite nice, isn't he? All right, you ready for this? His three hearts are in the right place. Uh, uh, I'm assuming octopus have three hearts. They do, yeah, they do, yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, right, uh, I, I just, I think it's the funny, like, the game is is great, but it gradually yeah. gets worse because it's funny when you're in the house and it's all met and then eventually it gets like challenging mm. and like it and that's when it ruins it like but just the idea that you're an octopus just pretending to be it's just the funniest yeah. concept for a game i don't think we pulled it off we've not given these characters enough in terms of being funny being funny is a big part of being a dad yeah so like, I'm also like, thinking yeah, maybe you, you play can move football up with your kid is one of yeah. the first levels in, in the living room. You got to play football with them, and you're like trying to do the gardening and like yeah, yeah. pour the milk and stuff. Like he's he's, he's trying his guy. best. Yeah, I think maybe B. B. Go on, Octo Dad. Go on, son. Like in Daddy terms would. of like, as you say, with his three hearts in the right place. I know you're making yeah. a joke, but like it's true. It's all it's all pure. It's all. I mean, he's obviously a bit rubbish because he's like, uh, you know, you don't want to be driving in the car when he's driving. Yeah, with the kids. yeah, of course. <laughs> Surely, um, also playing football does it not stick to his foot? Like, uh, no, you can choose when you ever you grab things. I think you just walk into. I can't remember. I think it's football you play. It's, it's inside the house. There's some right. sort of game you play with your kids. Okay, right. I'll go next. Uh, Sam Porter, Death Stranding. Have you played Death Stranding, Joe? No, none of it. No. Okay, so he it. is surrogate father to little. You may be able to see in the little picture there, he's got a baby. It's a BB, isn't BB, it? BB. The baby yeah. that's attached to him that allows him to see the other side. So that basically means that there's ghosts and stuff you normal humans can't see, but because he's with this baby, he can see them. He really looks after that baby. Like the baby will cry and you have to like hold it, like shake the controller to like play with it and like you got to smack the controller yeah. to, to stop it. <laughs> Throw it. <laughs> Shake it. <laughs> no, is, like, is he looking after the baby because he cares about the baby's well-being or because he needs it? For so, you know, Is it a tool to him? At first, it's a tool, but then he starts to love the Aww. baby. See, like, see that, that's what baby. I wanted from God of War. See, I wouldn't know yeah. <laughs> how it was going to go with the baby on his chest you know you'll be like falling into like a pit of tar and like he'll be holding the baby up above himself so that it doesn't get consumed and when it cries it stresses him out and it's quite a nice baby to be fair it's also <laughs> quite it's nice of... how it's it's like um 
like a like a male figure with like almost like pregnant as well like yeah. that kind of twist because you know normally like like historically like masculinity like the men wouldn't be the ones caring for the baby like obviously we're we're getting past that now in culture yeah. but it's kind of nice that that's the way around it is that it's like a guy caring for like a, a baby if that yeah. has anything i think it might be another in between c and d for now yeah because he doesn't played it so. he doesn't have a lot of lines voice lines in the game he's quite he's what, like baby? snake in mgs5 <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> he only has a few lines here and there but i think he's quite a cool character so that's why i've put him that's why i even included him in the first place but yeah let's put him between c and d for now yeah definitely a unique one yeah right i'm gonna i'm gonna steal marcus to leave you of asgore <laughs> thank you <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah marcus phoenix obviously from the the original trilogy of of um gears of war which is now not do you know it's not called gears of war anymore it's just called it's gears yeah it's just officially called gears right um but then yeah his uh he shows up in the gears of war four i think is where he's in it most where um you visit his like house yeah and like you and he's growing his tomatoes mm -hmm. and he's i remember i remember the memes I never played yeah. Gears of War 4. I played 5. Oh, he's actually five the dad in 5, isn't he? Right, yeah. No, I think, he's, I think he might be in 4 and 5. I think He's definitely in 5 as the dad to the girl, Caitlin or whatever her name is. Yeah. But I, I think he's introduced in 4, though, I think. Unless... Um, as a dad. Mistake. Yeah, I, I believe so. Because yeah, cause you play as the same characters in 4 Ooh. and 5. Um, yeah, unless I'm getting it wrong. Um, I, didn't, I didn't like the... I haven't enjoyed the new coalition ones um really i didn't find them that fun but um it's kind of cool going back to to see him when he's got a beard and older it's like i was saying before like normally these characters they don't age you know you don't mm. it's very rare you see a character age and he's probably aging as he would in the time from when the game released which is quite cool yeah um and i think it kind of allows you to do cool things where things that were like like seen as like a cool thing in the day and like this is how characters are you can then have the characters where you see a new generation and they can kind of be like oh yeah back in our day we used to do yeah, it like yeah. this and then be like oh we don't really do it like that anymore like, we wouldn't use that word anymore dad like yeah. he kind of <laughs> sets up the, those scenarios <laughs> him, um, and, him and cranky would have a lot to talk about yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> so i think that's 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 cool but I, I think just the games that he's been in as a dad I just I just didn't enjoy very much. Mm. Um and I, I do think it was a highlight meeting him, but I think it was just the nostalgia of like, oh yeah, it's cool the character I know and remember is here. And I feel like it didn't really matter much what he was doing. It was just like, oh, I'm just excited that he's here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So where are you gonna put him on the list? Oh, I'd, um I think D. God, I don't hey, think he's a good dad either. Many. He's, been, he's just been <laughs> absent from her life anyway, basically. Like, they weren't even sure when they're going there if he would be there. And he's just sitting on his own in like this old deteriorated like mansion, just like sitting in an armchair, like drinking. Yeah. Like. yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. I mean, A is looking pretty barren up there. There's not many good father figures yeah. in video games, I, is there? It filled up quick, but then that was it. So, Asgore, this is going to be weird for me because in my playthrough, <laughs> He, I spared him, and we had a little fight. But I don't think he was the dad of anyone. It, he I is. Didn't get that. Yeah, but I didn't get oh, yeah, that reveal. So it's a bit yeah. like I don't really know where he is. He good after the ending? Is he good? I didn't really get the dad's factor when I played. So. Yeah, no, no, he is nice. He he is a good character. I mean, he has regret for like, you know, he's. <laughs> I mean, he's been collecting the souls of children. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, so it's pretty it, low, surely. But he feels awful about it. <laughs> I tell you what, why don't you why don't you place him? Because I've got a couple I want to move around. So why don't you place him? Then I'll. Yeah, no, I think I think I think he's a great character, um, and it's super, uh, it's super interesting the the mechanic and the way he like he loves his wife uh, Toriel. Um, mm. They seem like a, a nice couple, and you know I kind of mentioned that if you give like the cinnamon pie, it kind of gives him back memories. Yeah, and the yeah, fact I remember that, you saying And the that, fact yeah. that you're going towards this big final boss, and then like you go up, and he's just like, "Oh, hello there!" Like, come mm, on in, like mm. you know, like it's a nice twist compared to like what a final boss is. Yeah. Um, in terms of being an actual dad, I can't really remember specifically in terms of how good of a dad he is, but he's very daddy. He really okay. feels like <laughs> good dad like he's very dad energy. Um, so 
To be honest, I think it might be another one for C, you know. Another know C, bit... another C, wow. Yeah, I know it's getting a little bit crowded, but... <laughs> it is getting crowded in C. Um, so I'm going to make a couple of changes here. Okay. I want to see what you say. I think Tony needs to make the jump to A. Are you doing that just because A's empty or because he... Well, that and like... Can he hang? He can hang, of course he can hang. Can he He's, a He's a skateboarder. He's a skateboarder. I feel like he needs to go in A and I feel like Taizo might need to go in A as well. In A? Because what does he do? He doesn't do anything wrong. Like he's there with his kid at a theme park having a nice time. He supports not, him. Do, not doing wrong isn't enough to get you to A. That's enough to like not put you down. That's not to put you up. <laughs> Can we put him in a B then? Wrong. Like I could put like... I don't know, I could pick up a fidget cube, but this hasn't done anything wrong, but it doesn't, be- it doesn't belong in A. <laughs> okay, I feel like Taizo could be in B and maybe Eli could be in A. I feel like Eli is such a wonderful dad character that like we've done him yeah. dirty by not putting him in A. Yeah, I, I think he just doesn't have enough to do in the in the game. Like I, I feel like he's... My only thing with Eli is he's often used as like an objective or like an emotional storytelling moment. Yeah. You know, but I think maybe the brief interactions you do have with him is is enough. And like you know, when like he is captured and you bring up like the machine and it opens up, mm. and like his first thing is like, oh, like God, you're okay, Alex. Like, you know, like he, he's yeah, not yeah. like, oh, like help me. He's like, like oh, like thank God you're okay. You know, yeah. like it's- he's a great guy. He's like probably my favorite when I think about like a nice dad character. My absolute favorite would probably be him. He like he's like yeah. the quintessential in game dad. Yeah, he's probably my favourite character on this list, to be fair. I mean, it's yeah. one of my favourite games, so it's not a big surprise. Um, Can Taizo move up to B? I just feel like there's, there's so... Like, are you basing this on, like, Drill Land? Yeah. But there's cutscenes. And does. They're so... They give you so little. <laughs> yeah. But like, they're not so hiding f- anything. They're not, there's like, so not abusive. few <laughs> lines. There's so such... So many small moments that you would even like know that he is the dad. Okay. Like I like the games and I I think the Dig Dug connection's cool. Yeah. But I feel like there's so little dadness about him in the games okay. that he's in. I tried. I tried, Tyson. I'm sorry, mate. Torb? Is he going up or down? I think no, I'd say, yeah. He he's he's above the D. If you look at D. Yeah. Um he, he's above the D tier, I think. And I feel like Sam is Bang in C as well. Generally a good yeah. guy, loves his kid, doesn't really, no, no wrongdoings. <laughs> I'm wondering whether Booker should go up to B. Well, you tell me, mate. I don't know anything about All I know is he's from Bioshock Infinite, which I've never played. He's you a didn't guy. play Bioshock Infinite? No, I didn't all. play Bioshock 2 either. I only played the first one. That's crazy. I know. Um, I'm, I am crazy. What can I say? <laughs> yeah. I wonder if, like, so I, I don't think it's aged the best. I mean, I played. I really like them. Like I played through them all relatively recently when they re-released them. Mm. Um, I mean, at the moment, he's the same level as a big daddy. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, like in terms of dad, like in terms of dedication, like it's everything kind of that you're doing is to try and save your child. So mm. it's basically like it's, he was in debt and they took his child away. And it's like, basically to save your child, you've got to repay the debt. And the fact he's doing all of that and then, like, he first meets Elizabeth, you know, you've yeah, yeah, no, yeah, 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 um, the woman. And, so, and so, and he's basically using her as a way to try and get what he wants, basically. Like, he doesn't care about her at first, um, but then eventually he does and then ends up, you know, like, trying to help her out um, as well. And, you know, there's many twists and turns. So, yeah, I'm thinking if you're okay with it to... Yeah. Put b- book her next to Octodad. Yeah, <laughs> and then maybe as the final move... I've actually had a bit more of a think about Snake, and he's actually quite a bad dad. <laughs> like Metal I just Gear, don't think of him as a dad. Like, well, Metal Gear One and Two, he's the main enemy. <laughs> yeah, like he's trying to kill his son. <laughs> I, I wonder if he's so, just there because you really like Metal Gear Solid. I do really like, and he is quite a cool character. Do you know what? He can be a D because he's got some dad moments, but he is pretty bad dad overall. So I think okay. we are done here. What do you reckon? Yeah, no, I, th- I think those last minute changes have really, <laughs> really yeah. fixed it. Yeah, so, I mean, Resident Evil is getting good. Good at the top there. It's looking nice. 
I'm enjoying yeah, it. Yeah, I'm sure up there. you're happy about that. You just I knew have. I couldn't. Um, I couldn't argue them down much because I didn't know. Actually, I know Ethan, and I agreed with Ethan to be yeah, fair in yeah. terms of like dedication and just entertainment value for the <laughs> yeah, character. He's got a lot of good value, that guy. <laughs> I, th- I think one of the interesting things is just to see like how for of these dads, how few of them are you seeing them in like parental situations, mm. and the ones that you probably, do, they're higher. Yeah, but it's probably less than half of them you actually see. And obviously things like Big Daddy are almost a bit of a joke, but like yeah. like very few of them you see them doing like parenting challenges, which aren't like protect the child from monsters or people yeah, with guns, yeah. you know, actually doing like actual parenting. Yeah, um, yeah. It's, it's, it's actually very few of them that you see. That. I mean, probably a lot of like Eli Vance, Hades, um, <laughs> and Ethan, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Joel? Yeah. Excuse God, me. you're all right, mate. <laughs> Getting a bit choked <laughs> up at the idea of dads not being there for their kids. <laughs> Just, why won't they care? Won't someone think of the children? <laughs> well, Joel has a few chats with Ellie that are quite dad like, beyond just protecting her from zombies. So that's yeah. all we'll say on that. <laughs> okay, uh, I think we're done. Is that right? Happy? Yeah, no. Good, Sweet. good job. Well done. Okay. Uh, well, thanks for watching, everyone. Not sure what the next tier list is going to be yet, but they're going to be coming a bit more often, I think, now that we've got a few more ideas. So. Well, we had the idea of uh, sidekicks. Um, so if uh, if you have any ideas for good sidekicks, well, or bad sidekicks, or bad just sidekicks. any yeah. any interesting sidekicks, maybe leave them in the comments to help us out. And we, yes. if we get enough, we could do a list of sidekicks. So people people like Elizabeth, you know, you know people like um, Ellie, yeah. um, you know, like side, side characters, I, I guess, that that you know ai controlled characters that assist you yeah god you're such a pro i never really thought of that asking people to comment <laughs> such a pro get up work smarter not harder get yeah, other people yeah. to think of them for you <laughs> okay great uh well cheers everyone thanks for watching cheers joe cheers thanks for setting this all up and uh and organizing it yes thanks everyone bye cheers bye